Okay, so we just saw some monkeys. And now we're gonna go, do you see that monkey right there? Yeah, let's try to investigate a little further here. Hello, Luna. <laughs> but you've had three. Oh, llama! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, so a lot of people ask me, how do you maintain a happy, healthy relationship? And one of the ways that you do that is... Uh... Good morning, everybody. It is about 5.30 a.m. here in Costa Rica, and I figured I'm gonna walk you through a day in the life of a multi-millionaire entrepreneur, Costa Rica style. So obviously, I am not in my house back in Miami. Instead, I flew to Costa Rica about a week ago, uh, and I've been here with my girlfriend in this beautiful kind of private villa, three bedroom place, and we've just been relaxing and working here for the past seven days. And I figured like I could do a day in the life back when I'm back home and I have everything going for me, or I could show you guys how I try to kind of stay on my slide edge and stay on my grind when I'm traveling. I try my best to literally get as close to my routine as possible when I'm on the road. That way I can continue to go traveling and I don't have to always have these like up and down roller coasters of me vacationing and not vacationing. So anyway, this is gonna be my day in life. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I literally just woke up two seconds ago, grabbed my phone and walked outside of here. I'm gonna go back into the bathroom real quick, brush my teeth, wash my face. I actually have been spending the first like 10, 15 minutes out here because in the very early morning at about 5.30, you can see toucans and monkeys and parrots and all these other beautiful birds. So I've been coming out here so let's see if we can catch some in just a minute okay i will say one of the coolest things about this house is it's like very indoor outdoor so you can see the bathtub is right here here is the shower and here is the sink so i'm gonna brush my teeth i'm gonna wash my face and then like i said i want to hop out and try to check out some of these awesome birds out here Okay, so we haven't checked it. First of all, check out the bedroom, our view on the bedroom is pretty awesome. We haven't seen any birds yet in the morning, but as you just saw on my screen a moment ago, I did find another Costa Rican native, which is my little Luna. Hello, little Luna. Hello. Hello, Luna. Yeah. This is the groundskeeper's dog that literally lives. We're like on this private property on 19 acres and there's only one other house on here and it's the groundskeeper and Luna is their dog and she comes and goes whenever she wants you to our house and she just gets all of the loving. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, you know, if I'm back in Miami, I'm like going straight into my morning routine, which I will link in the description down below access to my full morning routine video. But here on vacation, one of the things I love is in Miami, I live in this beautiful uh, condo, but I am so high up that I don't ever get to like immediately touch the ground. So one of the things I love about being here in Costa Rica is just how green it is and how I can literally be in the grass in like two seconds from walking from the home. So I spend like five to 10 minutes in the morning. I'll either be sitting out on my balcony and Miami, but the downside is in Miami, because it's on Eastern time, it's so much darker. I get up at about five o'clock in Miami and it's so much darker there. I get up at 5.30 here in Costa Rica, but because it's on central time here, it gets a little lighter early. So I gotta come out see outside and have some sun hit my face. I'm gonna spend just about five minutes trying to find some toucans or some birds. Maybe I'll get it on the camera for you guys. Then we're gonna dive into the rest of my morning routine, which is my visualization, my journal writing, and then we start the work day. All right, so let me show you guys my office setup for the day. Check it out. All I need is my laptop and some headphones. And then um, it's like an indoor, outdoor dining room. And the reason I sit in here is just because it's like the only place that actually has good back support. But anyway, so in my morning routine, I'm doing going to write in my journal for a little bit. And then I read for a little bit after that. And then once I am done with that, today is Monday, which means that first of all, it's Valentine's Day but also on Mondays and Thursdays are the only days that I have meetings. So in order to build a life that I don't necessarily need a vacation from, I have made it so that I only take meetings on Mondays and Thursdays. Any other day of the week, I don't have any meetings. And that allows me to then spend Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, traveling, flying my plane, working in my business, working on my business, like spending full eight to 10 to 12 hours in one day without opening up Slack one time, just building stuff. But obviously we have over 2000 clients 
inside of my company, Scaling with Systems, and so, and I have 30 plus team members. So as a CEO of that company, I do need to show up for some meetings every single week. So we're gonna do that today, which is gonna be uh, Mondays and Thursdays, like I said. So we're gonna have a full jam packed day of calls. Because I'm on Central Standard Time, my calls are starting, I think as early as 9 a.m. today, which is very not like what I typically do. So start at 9 a.m. and I think they go till about 5 p.m. back to back. I'll try to walk you guys through them as I am doing them myself. And then after that, we have somebody coming in for a COVID test. Then we do our Valentine's Day dinner. The sunset here has been so beautiful. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well and just walk you through what each meeting is like for my eight figure company. So let me write in my journal and I'm gonna read a little bit of my book and then I'll see you guys before the next meeting. All right, so a lot of people ask me what I write in my journal right here. So on the left-hand side, I write down affirmations, meaning things that I know to be true about me, my life, what's gonna happen inside of my life. That takes about, about three quarters of the page. At the bottom part of the page right here, I write three things that I'm grateful for. One thing has to be something in the future. So I'm grateful that I own a private jet or I'm grateful that I have an incredible relationship with my kids, even though I don't have any kids yet, not that I know of. And then, um, no, it's just a joke, guys, calm down. And then on the top side, over on the right-hand side, I kind of journal my life. So write about this beautiful trip in Costa Rica, what it's been like, what we did yesterday, what my feelings, what my thoughts are with my team members, my business employees, clients, personal life, parents, relationships. And that just kind of keeps running count of how I'm feeling. And I've been doing this journaling for five years now. I have five years worth of journal notebooks. So, you know, if I ever want to write a book or if I ever, like at the beginning of the new year, I always look at my previous year or two years or three years worth of journals and kind of see how far that I've come because I think it's really easy in today's fast paced life to just think that you're never where you want to be. And if I were to look back three years ago in my journal and see that I was literally at an Italian restaurant earning less than $2,000 a month, it's been quite a wild ride for me. So it kind of keeps me in perspective. And then on the bottom side, right over here, I also write down three things that I did well that moves me closer to my goal or my goals, my quarterly goals that I want. So my personal, my professional, my financial, like quarterly goals. And then underneath that, I write what is one thing that I did not do well yesterday. So three things I did well yesterday, one thing I did not do well yesterday. And then underneath that, I write what is the one thing I do to fix that. And that keeps my feedback loop in my life really, really tight so that I don't have to you know, I know the reason why I didn't feel well when I woke up, the reason why I didn't sleep well, the reason why I'm not where I want to be. I, and I don't have to wait six months or six years to be like, what, why the heck am I still in the same position I'm in? And I can literally get the feedback from it the exact next day. So uh, let's continue on. All right, so right now I'm about to type up these emails. Uh, like I said, first thing I try to do is get more appointments on the calendar for my team. I also, side note, it was a good thing that I checked my financials, my bank accounts inside of my company. I do it every morning because one of my credit cards hit the credit line of $65,000. So as we spend right around like eight or $9,000 a day in advertisements in order to acquire new customers. And so I guess it hit the credit line. So it actually kicked in our secondary card in the background. So I'm happy that I checked it. But right now, like I said, I try to do one thing that's moving the needle forward. As you can see right here, I don't know if you can see on the screen, but this is a message from one of my clients said, uh, you guys have always changed my business. I effing love you, um, Andrew. My integrator has been my best hire yet. We're about to hit 1.2 million rev in March. I'm gonna take you out when I see you in Miami. So one of the cool things is inside of our company, Scaling with Systems, one of the ways that we help our clients grow their businesses is we place fully trained operations people inside of there that will build sales funnels for you, help run ads, help build systems and tech and all that stuff for you. And uh, so right now I'm gonna do a blast, not to my business owner clients, but on our second company, Remote Integrator Academy, I actually train people to be a remote integrator. So I'm showing you how you can kind of live like this, which is, you know, live in Costa Rica, live anywhere in the world, earn a six-figure income from your laptop. 
And uh, so I kind of connect the two businesses together. I train somebody personally and I show them exactly how you can earn income being a systems integrator, remote systems integrator for a business owner. And so then we place you with a client of ours who is looking to hire. So this email is going to be going out to my list of people that are potentially thinking about becoming remote integrators to show you that once again, we place another person. He's earning a six figure income with a profit share of how that $1.2 million a month company, how much money that company makes. And he's earning a uh, percentage of that as well. So pretty awesome thing. I love what I do. You know, I love helping businesses. And I love helping people get out of like the rat race and getting out of the nine to five and getting out of, you know, the limiting beliefs that the world puts on them. And so one of the things that I do is I'm going to send an email blast out to about 70,000 people who have all expressed interest in potentially becoming a remote integrator or working as a remote integrator and say, hey, we're still doing this stuff. Is that something you're potentially interested in? That'll probably get 30 to 40 booked appointments on the calendar just uh, just right there, which will then fill up my sales team's calendar if it's not already full from ads. All right, so I just finished my first email. It took about 20 minutes roughly, and the cool thing is that I'm literally gonna flip it around and send another email now. The first one was to the people that are potentially thinking of becoming a remote integrator and have be trained by me to learn how to make money online. The second email is gonna to be to business owners that I've worked with uh, and that I potentially will be working with on how we can place a remote integrator inside their company. So if you guys know anything about me, I try to be as efficient as humanly possible. And a few of the ways that I do that is by having both of my businesses act like a flywheel to each other. So as one grows, it feeds into the other. As the other grows, it feeds into the other, which I absolutely love. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that, you know, some people might be like, wow, you've spent, I probably spent an hour between both of these emails setting them out and people are like, wow, I can't believe you spent so much time doing that. I focus on highly leveraged activities. So when I do something, I want it to be able to be multiplied hundreds or thousands or millions of times over again. And that's why I do YouTube videos because it's gonna be on YouTube forever. It could be watched millions of times over again, hopefully millions of times. That's why I run ads because I just do a few, a bit of work up front and it, I can scale it with just increasing the budget. And that's why I, why I write emails to my email list because with just an hour of work, I can have over 120,000 people read a message and potentially book a time to speak on my sales seems calendar so I'm not involved in the process. So look to do highly leveraged things inside your business so that you're not always just trading one-to-one, -one, right? I'm I'm technically trading one to many. I'm trading one to 100,000 or one to a million dollars potentially inside of my company. And that's how I've been able to scale to hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month for my business. So I'm gonna write the second email and then we're gonna dive into some ads. All right, so finish optimizing the ads and before I hop on my first call here in about 30 minutes, I was actually, I took a social media detox for the past four days. I haven't been on social media at all. I've been just enjoying Costa Rica and I just got hit by one of my own ads and I clicked on the ad because I, I just love clicking on ads and going through ads, but I clicked on my own ad and I noticed that my sales funnel was not mobile optimized, meaning that it was optimized for desktop, but there were definitely a few places on mobile where it could be uh, adjusted a little bit. So there's a little tip for anybody that's running ads online. So I am back in um, my sales letter here about to do some adjustments to make it mobile optimized. And then I'm gonna open up Slack and try to answer some of my team's questions before I start literally back-to-back -back meetings here in in 30 minutes. All right, so I have pretty much finished my one things for the day. I did something that moved the needle forward in the business. I sent those email blasts out. I also adjusted those Facebook advertising campaigns and I adjusted the sales funnel. So now it's about 8.30 Central Standard Time. My first meeting of the day is my company meeting, which starts in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna hop into Slack and try to answer as many questions as I can so it doesn't have to be covered on the company meeting, keep it as efficient as possible. And then the day begins. So I uh, got my one things done and let's dive into Slack. Slack, which I have a love-hate relationship with. And then I also have a scaling initiative, my highest level program Slack, where I actually hop in inside the company Slack for all of my clients' businesses. So I'm able to kind of be like a partner with them and adjust their ads with them, adjust their sales copy, help them with hiring, help them with templates. Uh, so I'm also, you're gonna see me hop in there after I check my company Slack, I check that Slack, and then it will probably be time to start my uh, team meeting. All right, now that I am done with my company Slack, I'm gonna hop in here inside of our 
client Slack. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of messages that I have to go through. And then we got our team meeting. All right, company meeting starts right now. I had to run and grab a t-shirt on one less. <sighs> breath in this beautiful, beautiful view before I sit down for literally like seven hours. Uh, company meetings we have is literally just once a week. I'm about to move it to once a month. And that's because I hate meetings. I think they're literally useless and a waste of time. But I do think that there is some things that have to be covered on a meeting. So right now we're gonna have an all hands on deck company meeting where we literally have about 32 people on the meetings uh, usually. And we go through like, you know, goals for the week. We go through KPIs, things that need to, we need to work on to move the needle forward, clients uh, that we need to work on, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna dive in and start that call now. Hey guys, I am doing recording a day in the life video today so everybody can turn your cameras on and then on the count of three you guys are just gonna wave and smile at the camera and i'm gonna you guys can be in my youtube video okay and let me act like you guys actually like working here okay you ready one two three wave <laughs> All right, so just finished my morning meeting. We did it in 25 minutes with our entire team on there. You know, I think that, like I said, I really don't like meetings and I don't think that anything real productive is happening at meetings. So I try to get them done as quickly as possible. I think my team also appreciates that as well. So now we're about to hop on what is known as our back end alignment meeting. And so this is for every single one of our programs. We have one-on-one -on -one coaches for every single client. So every client gets their own personal coach that hops on the calls with them, helps them build out assets, build out funnels. And so once a week, I get on a meeting with all of those coaches so that I can make sure that the advice that they're giving is exactly what I would give. I get feedback from the offer, feedback from the products. We help to, uh, to identify you know, how we can make the product or service a little bit more valuable. So that's the meeting I'm about to hop in right now. Okay, so just finished my back end team meeting call. Very, very valuable. I say it all the time, but if you're the smartest guy in your company, you're probably doing something wrong. So it's just good to hear from people, my back end coaches who have all like run and scaled other back end offers as well. Feedback they have about how to make our offer better, how to make our customer experience better, you know, how to adjust our offers, the lengths, who we're taking on board. And then I give that feedback literally directly to the sales team or the marketing team to adjust stuff as well. And so now I will be eating a little lettuce wrap right here, which is some turkey that my girlfriend made for me right there. Say hi, baby. And uh, watch this beautiful view for like 10 more minutes. Then I got another call. Last week, I hosted a company like quarterly, we call it black belt meetings, but they're like masterminds just for employees for one of my buddies' companies. Uh, or I'm sorry, I hosted it for my own company and I had one of my buddies come on who's an expert in cryptocurrency, he runs a hedge fund. And in exchange for an hour of his time, I am giving his team some of my time in order to help, he runs an eight figure business, in order to help systemize and automate some of the processes, marketing and sales, things that they have coming in right now. So I'm gonna eat real quick and then we're gonna dive into that call. So I would just start with the majority of people way over complicate, um, they're investing in crypto because they think that they have to have a super complex strategy. And honestly, the easiest thing that you can potentially do is just dollar cost average, um, which means that you're buying at set intervals over time. Purchase the masterclass or opt in and they book an appointment on their own. And we don't do a discovery call for those people. What I have happen is we have somebody inside of uh, the Slack channel when we get a booked appointment and they're actually the sales assistant and he calls every single lead that comes in and tries to qualify them and then we All right, just finished that call, which was epic. I helped my buddy adjust his low ticket funnel so that he was increasing the average order value, uh, number one, and number two, his sales funnel was ugly. Even though ugly sales funnels do convert, I think there was a few things he could do to actually increase his lead to purchase ratio, which right now is sitting at 3%. If we could get it to 6% or 9%, then he would be literally two to three X more profitable, which ours is at 7%, so I know it can be higher. So he'd be two times more profitable without having to spend any more money, which is awesome. So. Uh, that was a great call. I don't know what this red thing is on my forehead right now, but it's there. Anyway, so I'm about to start my scaling systems coaching call. So this is our core business where we help entrepreneurs grow and scale their business. And I hop in here and answer their questions um, as they drop them in. Typically we cover sales funnels, ads, offer creations, uh, hiring, ramping sales teams. So let's dive in there.
All right, so I just finished my coaching call. You know, a lot of the questions that I answer on there have to do with ads and offer creation. And also, you know, it is helpful when you're launching and you're scaling a business to make sure you're focusing on the right things that you should be doing every single day, every single month, and every single year. And sometimes you don't know what the right things are. So either you can do what I did, which was you could try everything and some of them were right or some of them are wrong. And that's why the first year I was in business, I only did $3,000 in total revenue. Or you could do what a lot of my clients do and just pay somebody else to learn how to avoid certain mistakes and you know speed up the entire process, which is why our average client you know gets at least a four times ROI within the first 120 days of working with us because we know how to condense what I've learned in three years of scaling an eight figure business into a much shorter time frame. So now I have like 15 minutes till my next call. And so the nice thing about being in Costa Rica and having this pool right here where I work out or work from is I'm just gonna jump in and get a quick little dip. Then I have a one-on-one -on -one call with one of my scaling initiative clients. So my higher level program, Scaling Initiative, is a multiple month program where I pretty much partner with somebody else inside their business, not for equity share, but in the sense that they get access to my team, they get access to my calendar for one-on-ones, I help them build out assets like advertising campaigns and sales funnels. And so I have a call with one of my clients, Kevin, who when he first started working with us, he was literally still working a nine to five job, and now he has a business that is doing right around $80,000 a month, and we'll be probably talking about how to ramp up his sales team a little bit more effectively. See you guys. Then. All right, so just finished that one-on-one. -on -one. My client, he's crushing it. Six times return on his ad spend right now, which means that every $1 he puts in, he's getting 6X cash back. Just hit his first ever $100,000 month, which is incredible to see, and he has quite an area to run and grow with right now. So we just went through his data and his tracking. One of the biggest issues he had previously was he was tracking no numbers. So he had no idea if he was profitable, not profitable, his ads were working, ads weren't working. He was kind of just throwing spit against the wall. And now that we use this worksheet that we created with him, uh, he's able to see literally he's putting $1 and getting $6 back out in cash every few days. Now he went from spending like a few uh, hundred dollars a month on ads. So now he's spending $600 a day on ads. And we're probably about to double it in the next few days. So that's awesome to see. About to hop on my scaling initiative call. Like I said earlier, this is um, the last guy I was in scaling initiative. That's my higher level program where people want to work more one-on-one -on -one with me. These are more advanced business owners. So let's dive in there. All right, uh, just finished that call. Man, that was so good. I love working one-on-one -on -one with like some really, really established business owners because their problems are like, you know, how do we change this one or two things to unlock an additional two to three million dollars a year in their business? So exciting stuff. This is about the time of the day that I start losing my voice as well. So I have one more call on the calendar. This is onboarding somebody into the scaling initiative. So we do one-on-one -on -one calls, we have onboarding calls, and then we have the call with everybody inside the initiative inside of there once a week to kind of uh, create a community aspect of it and to get other people to answer questions for them. So maybe I don't have to answer all of them. So I'm gonna hop on do this onboarding call and then we'll probably be done with calls for the rest of the day. So just finished my last call for the day. That was that onboarding call that we were just talking about. Uh, a gentleman's name was Thomas, runs an incredibly successful company. He's launching a new offer. It's a $100 a month offer for a wider market and he doesn't necessarily have it nailed down as far as who his market is going to be but he has the money to invest in order to try to test those markets out so i told him literally we always my goal is to build a business as efficiently as possible and so the most efficient way if you have a budget is to create different ads and different literally one page sales letters that speak to a specific industry or specific niches problems and how your thing is gonna solve that problem and see what is our click-through rate on the ad, meaning how many people in that segment are clicking through the ad to learn a little bit more and then how many people on the sales page are giving us the information or purchasing that product. So for him, what we're doing is based on what he told me to respect his privacy, I won't tell you guys everything about his offer, but it's a $100 a month offer and it works for elderly people, it works for cryptocurrency people, it works for uh, small businesses. So what we're gonna do is create, and by we I mean me, uh, because that's what we do inside of Scaling Initiatives, it's a lot of done for you work that I do for them. 
I'm gonna create like four or five different advertisements that all speak to different pain points in different industries that all go to one page sales letters. And then we're gonna see which one out of those, if any, converts into people that are purchasing the $100 a month offer. And once we validated that, then we're gonna go full blown and build out an entire sales letter A to Z. So very excited to test that out uh, and we'll keep you guys updated on that process. So at this point, I'm probably honestly gonna write out a few of those ads right now. I told them it takes about seven days, but I kinda wanna get it done now while some of the information is fresh in my brain. Um, and then after that, I will likely take another dip in the pool, maybe do a little bit of workouts. And we have um, the person for our you know, the big thing going around the world right now, I have to get a test in order to go back to the United States. So they're gonna come by my house here in just a little bit. And then I think we're doing a little Valentine's Day dinner. So see you guys here in a minute. So finished the calls and then hopped on my computer and did like uh, about an hour more of work. It went back into Slack and then actually went back into the ads manager some of the stuff I was doing this morning checked out some of the ads where we're at, you know, when you're spending like eight to 10 grand a day, you can see results a lot sooner than you could if you were spending like $50 a day or $80 a day. So things happen a lot faster. So anyway, incredible work day so far. It is Valentine's day. So right now we are about to head down the hill and go get some sushi. It's actually still pretty early. So if I was back home in Miami, I would be gearing up to go to the gym right now. And one of the things I noticed while I was in Costa Rica, I was like, wow, why do I have so much more time than I typically do? And it's because I have not been going to the gym here. I've just been literally working out on this green area right here, but I've been really actually going to the gym. So it's been saving me like an hour and a half every day. I do miss the gym and I'm very excited to go back, but it is interesting how we all allocate our time and the priorities that come from it. So anyway, it is Valentine's day. We are gonna go grab some sushi and then come back and try to show you guys the most unbelievable sunset that one of the most unbelievable ones I've ever seen in my life uh, from this house here. And since it is Valentine's day, a shout out to my girlfriend, Lauren, she'll probably be watching this. You know, both of us understand that we don't need a, a day to tell the other person how special we are, which is why all day today I've just been working. It's not like I've like, you know, worshiping the ground she walks on and like buying her 500 things. It's It's been a pretty regular day for us, but that's because our regular days are us serving each other and us doing things for each other. Like last night we were playing a game, a little uh, dice game, and we we're trying to think of, okay, what does a loser have to do if, you know, if you win, what do I have to do? And if you win, what does the other person have to do? And the funny thing is, is that we literally couldn't think of anything to bet because there's not one thing that we wouldn't do for each other uh, already. We don't need a bet or to do it or not. So not to get sappy to my viewers out there, for those guys or females that are entrepreneurs and are looking for something other and think that like they always take away, I have found somebody that actually does make my, it's like a symbiotic relationship. We're better together. I'm a better entrepreneur. I'm a better person with her. So anyway, we're gonna go to a very casual um, no Valentine's Day dinner. Come back up here, get my little vid test, and then uh, show you guys the sunset. So the only downside about Costa Rica I've found so far is that the roads, if you show them the road, are, is literally pretty awful. It's the most bump, the, the bumpiest road I've ever been on my whole life. And we have a two by four and you need a four by four. So every time we come in and out of this place, it is literally a gamble to see if we can actually make it up and down the hill or not. But the good news is you get some views like this, which is pretty awesome. We are in a very romantic and five star Miami restaurant. Just kidding. Eight hundred again? Thousand, all right so a lot of people ask me how do you maintain a happy healthy relationship and one of the ways that you do that is um, you let your girlfriend win on Valentine's Day I think that's what you look over let here let me win <laughs> that's the secret guys and look who came to see us again. Look who came to see us again. Hello, Luna. Hello. There's a monkey right there. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's like a monkey monkey. That's like a furry monkey. Hello, monkey. Oh, there's two monkeys. 
Is Luna down there? Is he going down? Luna's right there. Luna, look up. Luna. Oh my god. So they are moving. Bears. Well, of course, the night I want to show you guys the sunset. It is cloudy outside Sahil. You can show them on your screens a few of the sunsets that we watched while we were here. That is going to wrap up today's video, ladies and gentlemen. You know, if I was in Miami and I was in my you know, work routine, this would be totally different. But kind of the one of the cool slash maybe not so cool things about Costa Rica is very little light here. We actually have very little light in our home. And so you just like start your day and end your day by the sun, which is how obviously people used to do it in the ancient times, which is really good for your circadian rhythm and stuff like that. So it is literally six o'clock right now. We're gonna go down and get our tests so that we can come back in the United States tomorrow. And then we're gonna come back up and probably shower and then literally go to bed at like seven, 7.30. That's what we've been doing the past few nights. Uh, but getting, getting up at about five o'clock in the morning and starting our work day then. So uh, if you guys got value out of this video, please leave me a quick favor and just smash like button and comment down below and let me know that you did because I have never done a day in the life video like this. And I was honestly like, I don't know if I would use the word nervous, but I just didn't know if anybody would get value out of watching me do this. And sure, I've seen other day in life videos where these guys are like, they're freaking in fast cars and they're going and buying a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. And it's like, that's not my day in the life. That's, <laughs> and if that's their day in the life, good for them. But my day in the life is relatively boring. I sit down on Mondays and Thursdays and I take calls for my clients. And I take calls with my team members and I build out cool products and I solve problems. Uh, that's how I get off. That's how I have excitement in my life. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I travel, I go to places like Costa Rica. I work on my business. So I wanted to show you what a real day in life an eight figure entrepreneur looks like. Maybe you guys will enjoyed it. If you want to see a better idea of what my morning routine looks like. I have another video I'm gonna put on the screen right here where you can check out what my morning routine looks like when I'm dialed and I'm in Miami, not when I'm in Costa Rica. Hopefully you guys got value and I'll see you in that video.